here we have a Sony model TC366 solid state three head stereo tape quarter as Sony calls it. This is a recent dump find. It was just sitting there and I really only had to pick it up which was really nice. So you can see it has a very unique design. It uh, has the front in kind of an angle so you don't need anything to hold the reels in place. They'll just stay on there. It is, however, as you can most definitely see, a work in progress. Whenever I got it, it was it was pretty damn filthy, this thing. And luckily, it wasn't uh, too much of a huge, great, big problem to get it all cleaned up. I took the mechanism out of this uh, wooden case so I could go ahead and uh, scrub the wooden case, so that is nice and uh, shiny now. And the front also just comes off all in one piece. There it is, and uh, that has already been in the shower and in the sun afterwards to dry, so that's pretty much done. As you all know, I'm not much of a fan of Sony because they tend to have a lot of problems and those problems tend to be very hard to repair. This one actually appears to be a bit of an exception, at least up until now. You can never know what might uh, happen. Anyway, whenever I first opened this up, I thought, okay, that's pretty clear. Capstan drive belt is gone and needs to be replaced. Kind of weird because all the other belts are still there. They are kind of loose, they are kind of bent, but they are still there and they are working, except for the uh, counter belt. As you can see, that is that's all looking quite sad and obviously doesn't work. But uh, kept some belts missing, and I was like, okay, we can do that. You take out four screws, this whole entire head assembly just comes off and then you can pull the flywheel forward and you can fit in a belt. So that's what I did and yeah I know some of you who know this machine are already going to uh, laugh at me. Well I turn it on and it did work, kind of. The belt was slipping and it was making funky noises and I was kind of like, oh well, that's, uh, that's a temporary repair at best. Well, so I finally uh, went ahead and changed the speed to see if that was working and the uh, belt slipped right off and ripped apart, was wound all across the flywheel and, uh, well, the weird thing was, the machine kept on running, and then I saw it. This thing is uh, driven by an idler wheel, which uh, you may or may not be able to see down there. So, um, it is, of course, um, shifting to achieve the different mag uh, speeds. We got uh, 19 centimeters a second, got nine and a half centimeters a second and 4.75 down in there on that motor pulley. And uh, the speed changing mechanism, that is the problem that I'm working on right now. Uh, this obviously works by shifting the idler wheel. That's what that does right there. And there is kind of an interesting mechanism behind on the inside which as you can see I have all taken apart but essentially the speed selector switch pushes this thing right here which is the other end of that um, mounting part for the uh, for the uh, idler wheel that we've just seen pushes that back and forth now usually there is a spring right here so this is always being forced out this thing is pushing it in depending on what speed you need. And uh, this had become a victim of uh, bad grease. It was just frozen in there and uh, I managed to uh, free it up and it is, well, I, I'd say it's perfect now so I could put it back together. I do want to wait for a little longer, make sure it's not gonna get stuck again. But anyway, 
So if you're having problems with speed change on your uh, Sony tape deck, you may want to take a look at that. I also lubricated the motor and that's it really. Other than cleaning, I didn't really have to do a whole lot so far. And it does, uh, the electronics are working. Now one major problem that this thing has, which I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do about it yet, is the front. Now, you know, once again, not a big fan of Sony. There is always something going wrong with that stuff. The uh, thing that's going wrong with this is absolutely ridiculous. If we turn this around, as you can see, it's all a great big molded plastic. Now, the problem is, this plastic is getting old and it's changing its shape. It's expanding. And this part up here uh, started pushing outwards. So basically, you have kind of a bend coming up right there. And that is why the, uh, ta uh, the, the, the reels, or your tape, are uh, just uh, scraping across that. And as you can see, that's that and that's that. And I did try pushing it in, but that made things even worse because uh, the plastic actually ended up cracking. Might be able to uh, see that right there. So I'll have to see. Now, when I. Um, anyway, this is the uh, front of the unit. And there it is. Um, now, what I'm planning to do is uh, I'm going to see, as it, uh, as it seems, it's quite easy. You take out the center screw right there, you can pull the whole entire table off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put a washer, or maybe two or even three, under this to have it sitting further out. So the reels should not scrape across the, uh, the case anymore. Of course, uh, the consequence of that is going to be that uh, obviously the uh, the reels are going to be misaligned, and you know the tape is uh, you know the tape path is going to be off, and all that. But I'll have to see. But that's where we are right now. The repair process of the Sony TC three sixty six reel to reel tape quarter. Thank you for watching.